look at this, I'm going to point out all of the points of rotation that are in a wrist grab for you to move around, and then I'm going to demonstrate for you how to use levers to move around all of these points of rotation. Two levers, two points of rotation, made into one. Look at the longer, you've got a pivot point right here, this is our point of rotation, down here. It's almost like a wheelbarrow. Into the groin, into the face, wherever it may be. Fulcrum, now we've got a complex one going on. This is a series of class one levers that are occurring right now. So, as I move, depending on where I move, I'm going to get different things. Got that mechanical leverage. I cannot move it out here, but what I can do is rotate around it to come out of it. Now, I've got a whole nother lever, which we'll get to. How can I create different ones coming up in the face? I can grab the hair, drop this while knee, double up back, okay? Create your own out of these movements. Attack the leg, I can sweep to another lever, grab him back here. He's got mechanical advantage, I cannot fight this. I can't go, boom, 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 I'm done, okay? He's going into the face, he's leaning in the corner, wherever it may be, okay? I've got to deal with this. Grab the hand. Lever down, just like this. I am not throwing this. Am I throwing myself at you? Am I doing anything crazy? There's no chi, there's no psychic energy. It's mechanics, okay? Now, come back up. A lot of people, think, oh man, what do I do down here? I'm gonna grab this wrist, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess him up. Nope, I just wanna control him. As the force comes into here, it separates it. One force goes this way, one force goes that way, and you still have the primary force going down. So you have force A, B, and C. So when you strike into a joint, you are damaging up here and down there. Now that's very different than how you use a lever on a joint. When you strike a joint, you strike into the joint, as hard as you can. But if you're going to use a lever, you don't do that. You move far away from the pivot point as you possibly can to up here so that you get more rotation than here where it's barely moving. What I'm talking about is the street behind your building where you work. When somebody grabs you and throws you against the wall, then that guy comes from that direction and he attacks you. That's what we're talking about because people will say, come on man, when was the last time anybody got grabbed? Stop watching UFC for a second and look at some reality-based combatives. A lot of people teach this. I got a problem because he didn't move the way that the guy was moving down to the local self-defense school. How come? Most people would go, they wanna fight. I'm gonna keep this. Boom, you okay? All right, bam. A combative movement would be there. Then I would come up, controlling that slamming its brake, kicking to the face, knee, elbowing, whatever it may be. That would be SSP. I've got this point just because you've got here. Because, oh, we're in a wrestling match, that's fine. So as it moves, I'm using a lever, I'm adapting. You can drive up into the next. I like to do it. You can see. Same way. Going to lift up. 